Nature has already provided every safeguard for human beings to live a healthy life if they were to know what nature demands of them. You have to understand why there are diseases, why there are snakes, why there are scorpions, why there are flies, why there are bacteria. You have to understand this. To illustrate this, I will give you a story from the Arabian Nights. Have you ever read the story of Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp? Now, after Aladdin had gained control over the genie of the lamp, he became very rich, very influential, and was respected everywhere. Finally, the king offered him his daughter in marriage. When the marriage was about to be performed, the king said to Aladdin, Now you must build a palace suited to my daughter. Aladdin agreed. At night, he rubbed the lamp and the genie appeared. And Aladdin said to him, Now, Build a palace for me overnight, which is peerless, and have in it a big hall, which has many, many windows on every side, and all those windows should be decorated with diamonds and other precious stones, but leave one window unfinished. The genie executed the order. Overnight, a palace was built, which was glittering in the sun, decorated with diamonds and other precious stones. The king came to see the building and went from room to room in the company of Aladdin. Finally, they went up to the highest story where the hall had been built. The king admired the hall and was wonderstruck by seeing the wealth decorating each window. Finally, he saw this unfinished one. He turned to Aladdin and said to him, Why is this one window left unfinished in this beautiful hall? Had you exhausted all your diamonds and pearls and precious stones? He said, Perhaps that might have been the case, and I left it for your majesty to complete. He said, all right. So next day, he ordered his treasure to be opened and the window to be completed by his own artists. For days they worked, and every precious stone in the treasury of the king was exhausted, but the window was still unfinished. Finally, Aladdin again called the slave of the lamp, this genie and ordered it to complete that window also. This is what nature has done with us. It has provided us with everything. In the animal kingdom, in the plant kingdom, everything is provided. Medicines, plants, our clothing, our food, horses to carry us, cows, a regular laboratory to furnish us with milk, factories, everything. But it has left one window unfurnished. And that window is the diseases, the snakes, the reptiles, the flies, the bacteria. Why? For man to exercise his intellect to complete this one window in order to live a happy life. If this unfinished window were not left, man would stagnate. On what would he use his intelligence? On what would he develop his science? It is because he is goaded by want, by disease, by vermins, by germs, by viruses that he is doing his utmost to live in comfort and to have all the facilities and amenities which otherwise he will not have. 
you can now compare what he has what mineral wealth what plant wealth what animals what fish what birds he has and what wonder and vigor he has in his own body his health his brain his digestion his comfort he has everything except one unfinished window with all his resources he is not able to complete this is the plan of nature it is an all wise intelligence that has built the world if there were perfection there would be nothing left for man to evolve he would stagnate and in his present condition of mind he would even use all the luxuries to generate himself for that reason nature has left a few loopholes for him to plug which he is not able to do man is himself to blame for his faults because he is not able to understand that this creation and all he sees around is provided by nature for his progress stage by stage step by step until he reach the stature of godhood and is able to live for maybe hundreds of years with all the blessings that earth can provide for him it is because some people are over ambitious too full of greed too lustful who stand in the way of progress of the race as a whole it is not that nature has denied man opportunities or placed him in difficulties he has everything he has strength of the body health intellect and all the resources whether of minerals or of plants or of animals with which he can make himself a king but if he is not able to achieve that object it is because his own passions and his own indolence stand in the way of his reaching the target which nature has prescribed for him nature is not to blame it is man himself it is the scholars who fail to understand this plan of nature they cannot understand it until they explore themselves unless they know the secret of the brain once they do it everything will be clear to them like an open book there are so many things which need man to exert his intelligence if there were not these faults and flaws and lacks he would just idle away his time and stagnate nature wants him to exert himself now what we are doing at present but providing all amenities including computers we are digging our own grave who has found the hidden secrets of nature the human brain do we know what our brain is how it functions if we do not know how it functions if we do not know how it is repaired if we do not know how it is maintained in order if we do not know where the flashes of genius come from we have no right to say because the brain is already a finished article which we are using without knowing anything about it, it is nature again which has made us perfect or in other words which has allowed us to reach a state of intelligence where these inventions discoveries and control over forces has been possible it never became possible for the paleolithic or the neolithic man it is the modern human being with a much more evolved brain who is able to do it